Hey everyone, welcome back to Iraq and Bros UT. My name is Rob and I'm in a hotel right now and that's why I'm filming in the bathroom. My wife's asleep, but I wanted to do this as soon as possible. So a little while back I did an ALS awareness video where I ate a habanero pepper. And I think that doing things like that are a really good way to get attention online, which hopefully leads to people being helped. So if you guys don't know, I made a video on this a while ago, but I love Guatemala. I served a Mormon mission there, and I have a family um, there that are really good friends of mine. They've helped me through a lot, and I've been able to help them through some problems, and I really want to help them out. And so I've been doing a fundraiser for them for a while, and today I thought I'd spice it up a little bit, because <laughs> usually my videos are just update videos, but today I'm going to do something a little different. And I've got some exciting news that you guys will be hearing about soon that involves um, t-shirts like this that says save a life adopt a jumping spider and this silly fly fishing hat that I have I made all of these flies by the way. I'm pretty proud of that But without further ado for today's video what I'm going to be doing is The grocery store by where I live was out of habaneros and I couldn't find any ghost peppers online and So what I'm going to do today is here. I have two caribe peppers which are freaking huge. <laughs> These are a lot bigger than habaneros and the other spicy peppers you see. And then two serrano peppers. And that's a lot of heat. They're both um, about five times the spiciness of a, haba of a jalapeno. Not quite as much as a habanero, but still very spicy. And then I'll show a picture here. Um, I, ha I ordered a seven pot bubblegum pepper plant online. And what that is, is it's a pepper that's spicier than a ghost pepper, but it's a pepper that doesn't get that much attention. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat these today and ask you guys to please donate to my fundraiser. And here's the deal. If you can get this video to 20 likes, just 20, and if we can make 50 more dollars on this fundraiser, I will eat that pepper as soon as it's on there. And not just a little baby one, I'll wait until there's a big one. So another part of this challenge that I wanted to do to hopefully make it a little bit more interesting is not only will I be eating these, but the only thing I have to satiate the pain is this frozen cupcake and hotel water. And I'm not allowed to try any of those things until I've eaten all of the peppers and I have Guatemala's national anthem pulled up here, and I have to read through the first six verses before I can take anything to help with the pain. So without further ado, I'm gonna get ready, and I think I'm gonna try one of the Serranos first because they're smaller. <laughs> and so here we go. They taste a lot like bell peppers, but they're a lot spicier than a bell pepper, obviously. That's another thing. Sometimes ghost peppers and Carolina Reapers are said to have a really nasty taste, but the seven pot bubblegum is really fruity, so it's like super death spicy, but really fruity. I'm excited. All right, let's get started on the big ones. I'm starting to feel the heat. It's a slower burn than the habanero was. It looks a lot more acidic. Starting to feel the heat now. <laughs> this huge top part is just seeds. I'll try and get that if I can get through the other one.
They start to not taste very good after a while. So this family was screwed over by their bosses and was left without payment for like a year and then were forced to start up their own business and they just really need some help getting into everything. And so I'm just raising money to help them buy a car so that they can ship all this stuff around and just make their business work. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, here we go. Guatemala feliz que tú sabes no profane jamás el verdugo, ni hay esclavos que lamen el yogo, ni tiranos que escupen tu faz. Si mañana tu suelo sagrado lo amenaza invasión extranjera, libre al viento tu hermosa bandera, a vencer o a morir llamará. Libre al viento tu hermosa bandera, a vencer o a morir, o ma, a morir llamará tu pueblo con ánimo fierro. Antes muerto que esclavo será de tus, via, de tus viejas y duras cadenas. Nuestro padre, oh, tú, forjaste, tú forjaste con mano irancuda, irancunda el arrado del suelo fecunda y la espada que salva el honor. Nuestros padres lucharon un día, <coughs> encendidos un patrio, el remiento, y lograron, sin choque sangriento, colocarte en un trono de amor, y lograron, sin choque sangriento, colocarte en un trono de amor, que de tu patria, en enérgico acento, dieron vida al ideal redentor. Es tu es tu enseña pedazo de cielo, en tu prende una nube su albura, y hay de aquel que con ciega locura sus colores pretenda marchar. Okay, that's the first five verses. I'm gonna eat this last little bit. I really hope I don't throw up. Okay, I'm gonna go through the six first and then I'm gonna take a break. Pues tus hijos valientes y altivos que veneran la paz cual presea, nunca esquivan la ruda pela, pelea, si defienden su tierra y su hogar. Oh gosh. Okay. It's funny, this is actually one of the colors on their flags. But guys, I love Guatemala, and I love the opportunity to serve, and we've donated, we've gained over $400, and it's going to help them a ton, but we need a little bit more. So please donate. If we get more than $50 more, I'll eat one of those Southern Pop Bubble Gum Peppers. They're hotter than ghost peppers. Now, if we can get this video to 20 likes, please share it around. Please share the GoFundMe link and help this family out. And I'll let you guys know in the description if I throw up. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more 8 Legged Cutest.
Hopefully, for more spider stuff, really cool stuff happening in the future. And again, please donate. Please donate to this GoFundMe. And have a great day, you guys. <laughs>